Listen, cool weather is here and the people need outfits. They're lost, okay? They don't remember how to dress. They're gonna freeze out there. Luckily, I put together over 20 looks that I have already worn or would wear in the current fall weather in my cold, cold state of Wisconsin. And I got really sweaty while I was putting out all those outfits for cold weather inside my house, so um, please appreciate it. Okay, let's get into it. All right, this first outfit is something I just wore last week to go to Chipotle with my family. <laughs> Exciting stuff going on. Um, I think this is a great example of how to transition those bold, fun summer pieces like this zebra print tank top into fall by pairing it with some cargo pants, sneakers, and this baggy orange shacket, which really adds some fall pumpkin realness to any outfit. I also like the baggy oversized look because it's a cool silhouette and actually warm. This next look is kind of another take on the same idea, but this time we have even more layers with the cardigan and leather jacket. I wore this to a small get-together recently. It was three other people, but to me that's a get-together. Uh, it's also kind of two looks in one, the tank top with the sweater for inside at the function, but also the sweater buttoned up with the leather jacket is really cute and kept me cozy for outside on the way there. Okay, this is the last look with cargo pants for a while, so stay with me. They won't be in every outfit. Um, this is more of a casual, everyday, daytime look. I feel like people aren't as into jean jackets these days, but putting one in a baggy on baggy look makes it feel a little more updated. I wore this out for a walk in a park recently with some funky earrings and pigtails, which I totally loved, but this is a chill, toned down version if you're not feeling so bold and trendy. All right, we are now transitioning to jeans with the jean jacket, which is another jean jacket pairing I really like. And we're bringing back that cardigan again, layered over a long sleeve striped tee. This look does feel a little 2014 Tumblr to me, but I was trying to come up with ways to style practical basics you probably have. And I think the cropped cardigan, loafers, and claw clip give a nice update to this classic look. All right, this next look is for when you're just hanging at home, but you still feel like having fun with your outfit. Maybe you're hanging with like one other person and you want them to compliment you. We've got the perfect combo of funky printed top, fuzzy wide leg lounge pants, and one of my favorite fall winter pieces, the sweatshirt vest. When I wore this recently to my boyfriend's house, I also paired it with this jacket just for warmth, but I like what it adds to the look. All right, now we are taking those same pants in a more styled direction. For this look, we have sneakers and a baseball cap paired with a blazer for sort of a sporty street style menswear vibe. I don't know, this is a little out of my comfort zone, but I really like the juxtaposition of the blazer with the sporty elements, and now I want to wear this out. Where? I don't know. Give me places to go in this outfit in the comments. <laughs> Next up, we are styling the blazer with a more feminine look with this mini slip dress layered over a black turtleneck. Even without the blazer, layering a turtleneck under a dress is a great way to transition it to fall time, and this also works great with tank tops or t-shirts. Also, obviously, if I wore this out, I'd add tights or leggings, but I was honestly too sweaty while filming this <laughs> to put them on. Also, I'm officially petitioning to bring back leggings under skirts and dresses. It's just too practical not to do. Why did we stop doing that? Okay, this next look is based off something I saw on Pinterest that I would normally never think to put together myself, but I actually love it. I've been loving seeing bucket hats integrated into fall looks lately. I think it works surprisingly well. It's giving like 90s cool girl realness, I have to say. That said, if the bucket hat is too much for you, I also think this is a solid fit on its own. A buttoned up v-neck cardigan over a turtleneck is a great combo. Okay, we're keeping that 90s cool kid energy with this next look, featuring a flannel, which is a timeless grungy staple in my book, layered with a t-shirt and a turtleneck underneath. I love the detail of all the layers, but this is also surprisingly warm, plus the little beanie. I think the exposed ears look works for fall because it gives some warmth, but you don't need your full head covered yet. Plus, it looks cool. Sorry, it just does. My toxic trait is that I love these tiny beanies that have your ears poking out. <laughs> now we have the baggy white pants styled in more of a monochrome look. We have the white sneakers and crew neck for like a very put together athleisure kind of look, plus the bright puffer jacket, which gets to shine as the only colored piece, but also flows with the sporty street style vibes. 
I kind of struggle to style this jacket, but I think this is a good safe tip for any brightly colored jacket. Just go all black or all white with the rest of the outfit with pieces that match the general style. Here, we are using that same white crew neck again under some denim skirtalls. I also think this would be really cute with regular overalls, but we're doing those next. Uh, we have another flannel here, which is great for warmth and just another element to the outfit. But if you get too warm, I also think it looks so cute tied over the shoulders. I don't know if people are doing this with button downs, but I really like it in this look. All right, now we are onto the overall pants look, although I think both overall looks are pretty much interchangeable. But for this one, we've got it layered with a chunky V-neck sweater plus a ribbed knit t-shirt poking out underneath, which is just kind of a nice detail and again, adds another layer of warmth. This look felt very playful and 90s to me, so I leaned into that with my colorful thrifted Nikes, claw clip, and a tote bag. Now I kind of feel like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which honestly is aspirational. Here's another way to style that chunky v-neck sweater. We have it here over the shoulders with this v-neck dress and white button-up combo, which I am loving right now. I love the 70s vibe that it has. I also think it feels sort of preppy or academic, so I paired it with the loafers. Plus, if you get chilly, the sweater also works over the whole thing. Although I will say, I think it would be better if the skirt were a little shorter. I'm just pretty short and this accentuates that a little, which I don't love. See now here, we have a much better short skirt look. I do think this is much more flattering on me and I love a big thick turtleneck with the tiny skirt poking out the bottom, plus the big jacket on top. To quote the queen of fashion YouTube, best dressed, it's a great juxtaposition. Also, because of all the layers on top, I think this would genuinely be pretty warm with tights for like 40, 50 degrees. This is the last short skirt look though, so don't worry. Instead of the mini skirt, the midi or maxi skirt can work really well for colder weather because duh, it's longer, but also it's really easy to layer over tights or leggings without them showing as much. I love this skirt always, but I think the color palette especially lends itself to fall and the mustard yellow in the pattern matches perfectly with this sweater. I know this look is pretty basic, but I just wanted to remind you of a classic option and I did spice it up a little with these white, slightly western inspired boots. Here we have another long skirt option with a more muted look. I wanted to figure out a way to use those summer puff sleeve tops in the colder season, and I think the sweater vest is the perfect way to let the sleeves have their moment while keeping cozy. I do think this would look better with a more cropped sweater vest. This one is kind of like tunic style, which doesn't work as well with the skirt, but you get the idea. Okay, here's our last long skirt look. This time I paired it with my corset top, which you can always layer over stuff, but I feel like I've done that already so many times. So when I went to layer it over the white button up, I decided to just try it with the white button up on top instead. And I like this a lot too. It's more casual and a little unexpected. You could also layer a leather jacket over the white shirt or instead of the white shirt, which gives it a whole new vibe and keeps you even warmer. Now we have a much more classic option for the white button down. This feels like something you could wear to work and again, not the most creative, but just a great classic timeless option. The white collar poking out from the crew neck sweater paired with belted trousers. I also really like how the sneakers add a more playful, casual, sporty touch, but for an office, you could totally switch that out for loafers, oxfords, or boots. All right, for this one, I wanted to find a way to style the sheer blouse for fall without covering the sleeves, and the sweater vest just wasn't working out with it, so instead I went with that same funky pattern top from earlier underneath. I honestly think this looks really cool, but if this is a little out there for you, I get it. Uh, you can also just push the sleeves up and have the pattern subtly visible on the torso without such a strong contrasting presence on the arms. Okay, I just had to style the balloon sleeve blouse one more time, and this is probably the least cold weather appropriate look in this video, but I also really wanted to use this dress, and I think it looks cool. Um, not very practical, but that's fine. I hope this one can provide some form of inspiration. Okay, next. All right, finally, we are back to the cargo pants. I just cannot stop wearing them lately, but this look is based on this summer outfit from Pinterest. I really like the contrast of the floaty ruffled tank top with the baggy cargo pants. So to make it fall appropriate, I just added long sleeves under. I will say I did not realize how close this top is to my skin color, and I don't know if that's a pro or a con, but overall it's giving 90s high schooler, 10 things I hate about you, very casual cool vibes. 
Finally, I really just wanted to show off this sweater. I just finished embroidering it myself. I started it over a year ago in quarantine and then let it sit for several months, but I am very proud of it. A uh, statement sweater makes fall and winter fashion that much easier. Also, I'm actually going to be making another one of these as a commission for someone, so if you want to commission me to embroider you something, hit me up on Instagram, at Lizdrena. Please let me know in the comments if these outfits are suitable for your current fall weather. I'm just curious to know. If you liked this video, you'll probably also enjoy my like witchy fall outfits video I did a couple weeks ago. There's a lot of good fall outfit inspo. You can check it out right here. And I heard if you like, comment, and subscribe, you get a free dessert from your favorite restaurant. It's like this thing where they do it if it's your birthday or if you like, comment, and subscribe to Beep World. It's true. All right, I hope these outfits serve you well in these chilly, chilly times. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.